Duncan. Day, I don't know, seven or eight? Maybe? No. I don't know. Maybe it's been about a week breaking in the clutch. Sitting about 73 miles, so we're making progress. <laughs> Still have a lot to go, but what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Boost Feed. Today, bring up a question that I know I always thought about when I first started getting into cars, like when I first got my license. I really wanted to know what it was like driving a modded Subaru. I always wanted one. They looked like fun, they sounded cool. It doesn't really matter if they're, you know, stage two, stage one, even stock with just an exhaust. I always wanted one. They looked like so much fun. So, so I'm here to tell you what it's like owning a modded Subaru. Now, owning a modded Subaru, in my opinion, is so, so much fun. Even stock that come with crazy turbo spool. The boxer sound is iconic. It's literally one of my favorite sounds. They're easy to drive. They're fun. They're fun little cars. They stand out too. They're not just, you know, some Toyota Corolla or something or, you know, some standard basic car. Like they stand out. The World Rally Blue is iconic. I love it. It's my favorite color. The paint on mine is pretty bad and I'm gonna get it fixed up someday. But even when I get it fixed up, I still plan on doing the same color just because I love it that much. But in terms of driving a modded Subaru, there are a few things. There's rattles. Ever since I put the callus downpipe in, there's a rattle started coming from the dash every time I get into boost. Uh, even if it's just like a little bit, you can hear it. It's not the end of the world. It's not too bad. Um, I don't know, it makes it feel a little bit more like a race car, which is kind of cool, but you know, it's also a 18 year old car, so no, it's already a 20 year old car. <laughs> it's a 20 year old car, so I give it a little bit of slack. Now it also comes with owning a modded Subaru, it, there is some um, reliability that goes down. <laughs> I'm giving you straight on, like fully honest. There is some reliability that goes down. Every time you mod it, even just a little bit, I think uh, the reliability goes down just a smidge. Um, I recently just had a bunch of, I had to throw a bunch of money in to get the car worked on and get it fixed. So that comes with it. If you really care about the car, if you're a true Subaru enthusiast, I think you're willing to do it. And, you know, nothing says you have to put in a brand new block, like you can just rebuild it, rebuild the gaskets. So whatever works for you, whatever's in your budget. But what does come with owning a modded Subaru is they can't be money pits, not necessarily. I think it depends on how you treat them. I've always seen some people who just treat them like crap. And uh, the five speed is not known to be reliable at all, but you see people launching them and treating them horribly, which if you do that, then obviously it's not going to last very long. <laughs> if you're banging it off the rev limiter, it won't last very long. So I think it comes down to the user and how, how much you really care about the car and how much you're willing to take care of it and treat it properly. Now, what also comes with owning modded Subarus is people look at you like you're not just some guy with a super loud annoying like 20 year old car i mean maybe to old people you are <laughs> but to a, like super enthusiast people look at you and people respect that i know for me before i owned any cars i would see straight pipe subarus and um i like they were neck breakers man <laughs> i was turning my head i was trying to look at them i loved it i love seeing cars like that on the road the cool thing about colorado is there are a lot of Subaru enthusiasts. Um, it snows here all the time. The weather's here. The weather here is so unpredictable. So all-wheel drive is super important. So there's a lot of Subarus here in Colorado. Um, but yeah, coming with like with owning a modded Subaru, there's cool noises. There's turbo noises. There's exhaust noises. The way the car is, it just backfires. It doesn't. Oh, it it gets little burbles out uh, on downshifts like that you probably can't hear it but there's little burbles every once in a while you'll get like a good backfire which is always fun you can tune them super easily and you 
get a lot of head hooks. Like that little kid right there. <laughs> I think the coolest part about owning Subarus is the community. The community is super chill. And every time you see, you know, the second gen and third gen Subarus do it the most. The Subi wave is iconic, but it doesn't really come with the new ones anymore. Uh, like the FAWRXs, those don't really come. I think a lot of older people have gotten into the FAWRXs and just want like a fun car. Whereas people who get into the second gen and third gen, they're more enthusiasts and care more about the car itself. So you get a lot of waves from second and third gen Subi enthusiasts. It's really fun. I love driving this thing. Like right now I'm just breaking in the clutch and just talking and just making a video and even just driving it, I enjoy. What is that sound? The Subarus are really cool, man. They're fun to drive. They're fun to own. I mean, if you treat it like crap, it's gonna treat you like crap. It's gonna make you pay a lot of money to fix things. So take care of your cars, man. Enjoy it. Subarus are fun to own. I'm shooting that. Subarus are good cars if you take care of them. So hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to anybody. I know growing up, I always wondered what it was like to drive a modded Subaru. And uh, with persistence, you know, you work hard, you can make it happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to anybody. Make sure to comment, subscribe, give it a like. Let me know I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I'll keep making videos. I got some mods on the way. Um, I'm not gonna say anything yet, but we have something big coming here soon. Should be coming in the mail hopefully within the next week. So I'll make sure to get a video posted, keep you guys up to date as soon as I know. So thanks you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.